Hello Mountaineers and welcome back to a new school year. I know it's been a while but our doors are open and we're anxious to have you back. Some of you are a little fearful about entering the building, others are really excited. But the purpose of this video is to one, make you feel better about entering the building and coming back, and two, to answer the question, what is school really going to look like at Stroudsburg High School this year? Let's go check it out. In order for us to return to school successfully, it's going to take all of us to make sure that we create a culture of caring. That culture of caring begins before you actually even get to school each day. We're going to ask that you go to www.esberg.org, go to Stroudsburg Area School District Health Check links. From there, you will fill out a Google form under Stroudsburg High School, which will ask you a number of health-related questions that basically take 15 seconds. If you are good to go, then you'll proceed to school. If you're not feeling well, please do not come to school that day. Once you arrive to school, depending on how you get here, your driver, if you take the bus, will take your temperature either before boarding or before departing the bus uh, before you enter the building. You will enter at the main entrance. If you're arriving by walking from either the Wawa side or Perkins side of Main Street, you will enter at the auditorium entrance. If you're arriving by parent drop-off, you'll go down Main Street, turn right on Linden Street, and right again to proceed behind the building, and you'll get off or out of your parents' car at the corner of the field hockey field and the borough pool. You'll enter at the nurse's entrance. And if you are a senior or junior parker, you will enter at the gym lobby. Temperatures will be taken at each entrance before entering the building. In order for us to return successfully and safely, there are several COVID-19 health and safety expectations. One is that all students and staff wear masks when in the building. Students must wear masks at all times unless you are eating in the cafeteria or outside participating in phys ed. Students will be issued three masks upon arrival on the first few days of school, maroon, black, or gray. You can wear those masks or you may bring your own. If you bring your own, they must be solid color or patterned. The masks may not have words on them, have pictures or valves. They not be, may not be gaiters or bandanas. Students will also be asked to wash their hands frequently and to sanitize upon entering each classroom. Hand wash stations will be added to the hallways to encourage the practice of keeping your hands clean. Sanitizers have been mounted at numerous locations throughout the school and in each classroom. Your desk will also be sanitized each period. Our traditional water fountains will be turned off and will be replaced with water bottle fill stations. Students are permitted this year to bring your own water bottle, make sure it's labeled, and please no sharing. Students will also be asked to follow one-way hallways. During class transitions, the first floor is clockwise. The traffic will be clockwise. On the second floor, the traffic will be counterclockwise. The middle hallway, both upstairs and down, will be two-way traffic and the music, choir, and orchestra hallway is also two-way traffic. The stairwells are going to be one direction only. During class transitions, many of them are up staircase only or down stairway only. They are clearly marked above each door frame. Until you get used to your schedule and the one-way hallways and up and down stairwells, we do understand that it will take you a little bit of extra time to get to your next class. Teachers will understand that. Uh, but once we get into the second week, third week of school, you should have your route pretty well established. Your classrooms will also look a little bit different. The desks are socially and physically distanced. Uh, they are in rows with desks six feet apart. For teacher protection, the teacher desks will have protective plexiglass shields. So please, when approaching the teacher, maintain a six foot distance. After class, please help maintain proper distancing for the next class 
and make sure your desk is put back where it belongs. Desks should not be moved during class. Because following these health and safety guidelines or expectations are non-negotiable, because it does affect the health and safety of others, there will be consequences for non-compliance. Our intent, obviously, is to have you follow these guidelines because it's the right thing to do to protect each other and yourself. If not, progressive discipline will occur. A simple warning, maybe the first time, detention, ACE, OSS could occur. Depending on the number and magnitude of offenses, a move toward full remote may be warranted. Once you enter the building in the beginning of the day at various locations, we're going to ask that students go directly to their homeroom. Do not go to your locker. We are trying to avoid congestion in the hallways. Please maintain uh, physical distance between one another when you're entering the building. Students will be sent to their locker uh, a few at a time to maintain social distance. So what will learning or instruction actually look like? Depending on the format that you and your parents have chosen, if it's hybrid, you will be in person, live, at least two days per week, and be learning remotely the other times. All students will be issued a district-owned Chromebook. You're advised to use that Chromebook both in school and at home. In order to receive the Chromebook on the first day, you must return the Chromebook form that was emailed to you. If you are full remote, please bring that form with you when you pick up your materials. If you forget your Chromebook one day or it is not charged, the library will be the hub for taking care of those types of issues. Whether you are hybrid and present or full remote, you will follow what we are going to call the hybrid remote bell schedule. You will need to be in normal dress code if you are here in person. If you are remote for the day or full remote, you will also follow the hybrid bell schedule. You will wake up and log in to Zoom or Google Meet for homeroom. That's at 7 o'clock. You will need to be dressed appropriately. Casual Mountie wear is appropriate. You'll be responsible for being present at the start of each class for attendance. If you are not, it is considered an absence or a class cut. Instruction. For those students present or home remote, class will start with attendance. Teachers will begin most likely with an at the bell. Teachers will review homework and then transition into the body of the lesson. After the body of the lesson is taught, there is generally a practice portion of the lesson, and that's when students at home may log off, stay on, log off and come back, etc. Those at home will not be asked to be on the computer for 42 minutes straight for nine periods. Basically, you'll be present for attendance, the at the bell, and for the body of the lesson, which is approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Students, you do need to understand that school is back, which means attendance, homework, tests, quizzes, labs, projects, etc. They all count. They all matter. They all matter for attendance uh, laws. They all matter for report cards. Uh, they all matter for transcripts. So, school is back, full time. There also is a change with attendance. When a student is absent, the student should not bring in a paper note from their parent and give it to their homeroom teacher. We're asking that the parent please email shsattendance at sberg.org within three days of the absence for it to be excused. If a student is leaving for an appointment, the parent is asked to please email shsattendance at sberg.org by 8 a.m. the day of the appointment. If picking up the student, please ring the doorbell at the main entrance. Let us know that you're here and we will send the student out to you. If a student is tardy, please email 
SHS attendance at sberg.org before the student arrives to school. If we do not receive the email before the student arrives, the tardy is considered unexcused. If you have a doctor's note, please fax it to 570-424-1383. Lunch in the cafeteria certainly will have a different look upon your return. The tables and booths have been replaced with rows of student desks, which are socially or physically distanced six feet apart. What I would do is I would find out when my friends have lunch, schedules go live at the end of this week, find out when they have lunch, and I would go to lunch together and sit in seats which are adjacent to another. After the first few days, when people have had an opportunity to figure out where they're sitting, we will be assigning those seats to you for the remainder of the semester. This is critically important in case someone would get sick that we are able to contact trace who is around certain people that may have gotten sick. Once the end of the day comes, it will be unlike other years. After ninth period, you will be reporting back to PM homeroom. Dismissal will be done in waves to various exits to avoid congestion. For now and until we are back full time, you will be dismissed at 1.50 p.m. Just a reminder, the first week of school, homeroom begins at 7 a.m. and dismissal is at 1.20. You are only reporting to school if you are hybrid and on the day that you are assigned to come in. Monday only if your last name begins A through D. Tuesday only if your name is E through L, Wednesday only if your name is M through R, and Thursday only if your name is S through Z. Friday there's no school. So if your name is not one of those alphabet letters for the day, you are staying home. The day you are here is simply to pick up your Chromebook, go through your schedule, meet your teachers, and to receive your textbook or materials for each class. The actual first day of school of instruction is Tuesday, September 8th. Tuesday and Wednesday that second week is A through K, and Thursday and Friday is L through Z. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it eased some of your fears. I hope you're excited to come back, and I do need you to wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands so that we can all be here and be here together because we are better together. See you next week.